Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to take the screenshot only on test failure. Instead of taking the screenshot here and there, I would like to take the screenshot for the test which got failed during the execution. Okay, so how that is possible? How to customize the so far created code and take the screenshot only for the test which got failed. So for that, I'm going to demonstrate something in this session. So this session is a continuation of the previous sessions where we have generated some ALU reports, attached some screenshots, but here the screenshots were not taken when the test fails. Rather, randomly the screenshots were taken. But here in this session, we are going to take the screenshot only on test failure. Fine. So how to take the screenshots only for the test which fail during the runtime. So for that, here is one article. So copy this and open in the browser. So we are going to customize the code that we have written so far in the previous sessions. We have to simply open this uh, GitHub page, scroll down, scroll down until you see some code here. There's some code, just keep on scrolling on this page. You see here, this is the code. Okay, this is the code we need to utilize. So here in Selenium Python, uh, similar to Selenium Java, we don't have listeners which will listen to your Selenium scripts and you know, whenever a particular test phase, it will take the script. That kind of concept is not there, but still there is a way uh, where if you use this particular code that is there in this article, that is possible. Okay, even though we don't have listeners here, by using this code, we can get it done. So how to use this code and how to take the screenshots dynamically when a particular test fails only for the failure tests, all this I'm going to show you practically in this session. So let's switch to this PyCharm ID and uh, immediately you can switch to this uh, conftest.py file. Already we have created this conftest.py file as part of the previous sessions, right? So what we have to do in this conftest.py file is here we have to copy paste something. So just go to this uh, page and uh, here copy this, copy these lines as it is. Don't do anything. Don't uh, break your head also. Just copy paste blindly, okay? To get the things done, just copy paste here. Already the import PyTest is already there. You can remove this, it's not required anymore. Okay, here two lines should be there between the methods. So this is uh, some hook method. So don't worry about this method, just copy paste as it is. Uh, as per now, there are no defects here, no errors coming. So it got tested properly in this conftest.py file. So regarding the conftest.py file already covered in the previous sessions, right? Now, what next thing that you have to do is, not only this one, you have to copy this part also. Already this import PyTest is there. So only take this part, copy this part. It's a fixture, you see, as you can see, it's a clearly a fixture. And come back here and somewhere here, paste it. Okay, paste it like this. Once you paste it, you see there is some yield fixture being used. This is outdated bit. So simply say fixture with circular brackets, the way you have used here, right? The same thing you use. So here we have multiple fixtures. This is one fixture, this is one fixture. So this is the picture I just now copied from this code, okay? And modified that to dot fixture. After that, few more things you have to modify blindly. Remove this part, messages part you remove. And here also remove this messages dot append. Only keep the yield keyword. After that, keep this line. Keep this line also, no problem. So completely remove all these lines is not required, okay? Most of the lines you are removing. And at this location, what you have to give? At this location, what I have to write is go to one of the tests that I have created earlier, this search.py. One of the uh, third tests, let's say, I have used this line to take a screenshot. But here we are not taking the screenshot for the failed test. We are randomly taking the screenshot in particular test and you know attaching that to the report. The same line, you cut it from here and paste it here. That's it. Okay. The code for taking the screenshot and attaching to the LU report, I am writing here. That's it in this fixture code. Fine. And here self dot driver. Here we should not use self because this particular fixture is not part of a class. So remove this self. So after that, uh, the driver is not uh, you know visible here. So here I have to make it global, global driver. Now this will be accessible. You see, it can access. This issue also resolved. And here name of the screenshot should be kind of uh, you know generic, right? So failed uh, test dot png kind of thing should come. This should be the name. It can be common name, right? It is a common name. Now that's it. It's done. 
So like we have used this fixture in the individual test, uh, test uh, methods and all, right? So above the class, we have used at the rate pytest.mark.use fixtures. Here only one fixture name we provided. Now put a comma here and in double quotes, put the name of the another fixture also. That is log on failure is the name of the fixture. Copy this and paste it. That's it. Okay. Similarly, copy this line, not only in this particular uh, file here also. Okay. This is the thing. Just replace that with, uh, we have two fixtures here. Okay. We are using two fixtures. That's the only difference. Now, any of the tests fails anywhere in this uh, files, right? Uh, for that, screenshot will be taken automatically. Screenshot will not be randomly taken. Rather, screenshot will be taken only for the test which are going to fail going ahead. So any any test you pick from any of these files and uh, intentionally try to fail one of the tests. You see, if you run this, all the tests will pass. Three tests, three three search tests here will pass. So screenshot will not be taken. In the login also, these two tests will pass. So screenshot will not be taken. In this, uh, you know, uh, register also, these two tests will pass. So screenshot will not be taken. I'll pick one test and I'll intentionally fail the test. I'll pick this third test. And here I'll intentionally add ABC in the expect ABC in the expected text. So the retrieve test will not match this ABC. And because of this particular test will fail. If this test fails automatically, the screenshot will be taken. Okay. The fixture will be called and the screenshot will be taken for this particular test and will be attached to the uh, allure reports also. Okay. So sophisticated this is. Right. So what I will do here is I'll uh, just go to this uh, terminal. And here I'll try the co uh, run, run the command that is pytest. I want to run all the Python files, okay? In this total seven tests, I want to run because out of the seven tests, only in one test, it, we are intentionally failing. Only for that one test, uh, the screenshot should be taken. For remaining six tests, which are running, the screenshot should not be taken because they are going to get passed, okay? So I'll simply say pytest, uh, and uh, since I have to take the uh, reports, right? I'll just write hyphen hyphen allure dir is equal to. I would like to take the uh, collect the reports under reports folder here. Reports folder is not there. I'll, uh, it will be created. Okay, it will be created dynamically while this command is running, while the tests are running, right? The reports folder will be created. Okay, whatever the reports folder under the project will be created. Press enter. All the seven tests will run. In that one will fail. Only for that failed test, the screenshot should be taken. Let's wait uh, for all the tests to run one by one. First login tests are running, it seems. One test completed, it got passed. As you can see, screenshot will not be taken for that particular test. Now, second test is running. For this also, the test will pass and uh, screenshot will not be taken for this test also. Now third test, uh, that is register related tests are running now. So let the register related test run. So with the uh, mandatory fields, the account is created. The test got passed as you can see. Now fourth test uh, from the same register functionality where register with all, all the fields. Let's wait. For the test to finish up, this test will also pass. So you go to the register account page, and after going there, it will provide all the details and create the account. That is what passed. Now the test related to such such will run. In the first two tests will pass. The last one will fail. Only for the last test, the screenshot should be taken, because only the last test in this particular such is failing intentionally. I am failing by adding that ABC in one of the tests. In the expected test ABC I was adding because of that the last test in this search will fail. This is last but one, which will not fail. It will pass. So the last one is going to fail. You will get F in the output. Till now you got the green dots for each and every test in the output terminal. But now for this particular test you are going to get F in red color to symbolize that it got failed. You see it got failed. F came. So one failed, six passed. So for the six test, screenshot should not be taken. For this one failed test, the screenshot should be taken. So for that to happen, so you see already reports folder is created and uh, let's see whether any PNG file is there here. Uh, let's see, JSON files got created, right? Here one PNG came. That means a screenshot has been taken for the failed test. Only one PNG file is there. So now what I will do here is uh, I'll go to, I'll right click on the project. I have to generate that allure report. So to generate that last uh, command is there, that is uh, open in Explorer, as I covered in the previous sessions, if you remember. Go inside this uh, project folder, type CMD. The command prompt, Windows command prompt will launch from this project location, where I'll type allure serve 
where the JSON files are there, the reports folder, give that path and press enter. Now all your report will be generated where you will see that only for the filters, the screenshot has been taken. Okay, will be taken. So you see, there are seven tests which have run in that one field and remaining six got passed. You can see the reports properly now, right? So one defect is there. And uh, so you can click on this so that it will take you to the suit section where you can see tests under the test login is there. Both the tests got passed. No screenshot will be taken. You can confirm that here. You see, set up, tear down. Uh, you see, only this came screenshots are not there. What about this one? Second test under login, which got passed. No screenshots are taken. Test register. Here also, this, uh, there are no screenshots because the uh, test got passed. Here, this one. No screenshots because the test got passed. Now, test search. There are three tests in that. First two got passed. So, no screenshots for the passed test. Second one also. No screenshots, as you can see here clearly. Now, third one got failed. For that, we got some assertion details here on the top. Apart from that, here, under setup, there's nothing under tier down logon failure is activated under that expand you got the failed test you see with the given name also the failed test is coming the screenshot name also we have given the same screenshot name it is taken and when you expand that you got the screenshot only for the field that the screenshot is taken so this is how we can do it okay you can expand that and see only for the screen uh, field test the screenshot is taken for remaining password test screenshot is not taken so this is what we have to do all the solution is in this particular link there is https colon double slash github.com slash pytest dot uh, pytest hyphen dev slash pytest hyphen issues slash 230. In that page, you have the solution that I have demonstrated in this session. What you have to do, you have to go to conference and do all the changes, and you have to mention this uh, use fixtures logon failure in all the tests. Okay, all the Python files, it is done. So, hope guys, you understood how to take the screenshots only for the failed test. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.